I can see you. We're on the ship and we're headed to fame. I can see it in the distance. Aye. Aye, aye. I see some scallywags in the distance. What does scallywags even mean? It's obvious I'm not on the ship right now. And it's raining and my camera's probably getting ruined. I think I'm gonna go back inside. Jenna, you asked if we could blow up any celebrity with a button. Um, what celebrity would it be? Um, like today, like literally, this changes every day. And today, I'm really hating Nikki Reed, and because <laughs> I don't even need to explain myself. I'm sure that there's other people out there who know exactly why. And what I'm talking about. I just, I can't, I can't handle how tan she is and how not blonde she is. And, <sighs> yeah. Chris, you didn't actually, like, voice a question, but you did type a question and it was how many times do I say, um? Well, I counted, uh, and, um, as, like, kind of the same word. And I think the answer is 11. Christine, you asked what time period um, I would live in, um, like, if I could just, like, visit there. And this is actually kind of a serious topic, which is really weird because I'm hardly ever serious. But I would go back to, like, um, you know, uh, Rosa Parks and, you know, Martin Luther King. So I guess, like, the civil rights um, movement time. Um, I would probably be dead because I'm, like, white and black. <laughs> Um, I would go back there because I think that, like, recent events, um, the president, for instance, who is part black, um, that was only, like, a lifetime ago. Like, my grandparents were, you know, like, seven years old when this was, like, going on. And, like, they're still alive today. And I think that seeing, like, us change so much in literally some one person's lifetime is like I think that's amazing and it shows how like accepting we really have become and that's not just people of like color but like you know gay people um transgender people that's a big um topic that <laughs> I don't know if we really are gonna cover this but um I think of yeah just to go back to civil rights times you know like when all that stuff was going on like all the fighting between white and black and whatever I think that time um one so I can learn a little bit about you know the black side of my culture because as everybody well actually everybody doesn't know this but I was raised just by my mom because my father passed away when I was um two years old so I don't know a lot about um black culture um you know other than, like, you know, things that, like, Kwanzaa, like, really, what is Kwanzaa? I'm sorry, I celebrate Christmas. I don't know if that, I, hopefully that doesn't offend anybody, but, yeah, just because I'm black doesn't mean I celebrate Kwanzaa. I think that's kind of a stereotype, and I believe that Kwanzaa is actually an African holiday, not an African-American holiday. I don't know if there's a difference. I know that some black families do celebrate Kwanzaa, but I'm kind of half white, so. I celebrate Cremonza or something. I don't know. But sorry. Okay. So to answer your question, Christine, the civil rights movement time so that I could appreciate what I have now because I think that we kind of lose sight of that. My question this week is if any, I'm looking at you, if any um, character, um, whether they were like, a cartoon character or like a real character you know like a human character um which character would you want to be like 
your BFF, like, forever. Like, your best friend forever. I'm going to say Peter Pan. I am obsessed with Peter Pan, and if Peter Pan were real, I would (laughs) kidnap him. And (laughs) I don't know. I love Peter Pan. I love the idea of Peter Pan. And I know that sounds really creepy and bizarre because I'm, like, an old lady (laughs) or whatever. But, like, I don't know. In my mind, Peter Pan's actually, like, 17 on the verge of 18. Not, like, 11 going on 12, if that makes any sense to anybody. Um, And in my mind, Peter Pan, you don't really become a man when you're 12. (laughs) I mean, as far as puberty goes, I guess you do. But in my mind, it's it's the story of how, like, he was growing up, you know. And he was going to be 18, and that's, like, the legal, you know, adult age. Um, So, in my mind, he's older than a little kid. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, Peter Pan would definitely be my best friend. But hopefully his last name wouldn't be Pan, because that's not cute. Sorry if your last name's Pan. Oh my god, is there a Peter Pan out there? 